Hey guys, Jeremy with Four Sons Off Road here. So we're uh, got the whole crew here with us today. Um, riding in the 1996 uh, Suzuki Carry with some upgrades on it. We did a video on this one uh, with a quick little test drive a couple of days ago. But what we're going to do today is do a comparison between a mini truck and a Super Duty. Now you might say oh, that's not a fair comparison. Well, yeah, it is because. Out here in the country, when you've got, you know, places to go and things to do, you've got choices. You can take your mini truck or you can take your Super Duty. And here's the big issue in the springtime. A 7,000 pound truck starts to turn your, uh, well not only your driveway, but your farmyard, your fields into a uh, giant swampy mess. So what we're going to do actually today is uh, basically compare not so much the capability of these vehicles but uh, just how they handle the terrain it's you know it, we got about a foot of snow here in April which is pretty uncommon uh, the ground underneath is all thawed so it's a muddy disgusting mess but uh, yeah we're going to uh, just see what uh, how these trucks get over the terrain and uh, you know how easy they get across the yard so just start off here heading across the uh yard to the fence. Some pretty mushy snow. Now I'm gonna hand this one to the mini truck because I wouldn't even go this way with the Super Duty. I'd have to go around down the road, which is not a big deal, but this is the shorter uh, shorter distance more direct if we're just heading to check some fence or you know, check the cattle right in the middle of the calving season here. So it's nice just to be able to head straight across. Now the reason I thought that Super Duty wouldn't get through here, but, well, number one, I don't want to rattle my, you know, nice truck to bits over the uh, rough terrain. But more importantly, I don't want to rut up my pasture land so that I've got two foot deep ruts all summer long for, you know, the uh, well, kids to trip over and the cattle to trip over. Now this is a service road for a uh, a gas well that we have and you can see they come through here with the pickup trucks and I get you're gonna make it through but you're certainly gonna make a mess So now we're in the Ford Super Duty. Now again, before everybody in YouTube world freaks out, I'm in no way implying the capability of these vehicles, so much as the practicality around the, uh, the farmyard. So with the Super Duty to get to that same trail, I've got to go down the road, which again is not the end of the world, just can't cut straight across because number one the truck's too heavy I don't want to rut my yard up so we're just gonna go around for a little ways now why is this a big deal it's not uh, unless you've got you know a couple of miles to make or maybe highways to cross or go down and I don't know what your local law enforcement's like but I know a lot of guys around here don't like to carry their wallets and licenses with you and just avoid getting a hard time if you stay on your own property all right so we've got the super duty going through this mucky rutted trail I can tell you already this thing is it's pretty squishy 
She's sliding around pretty good. spinning up the hill too. I've wanted to do this video a long time ago. I just uh, haven't got around to it because our other truck had some pretty crummy tires on it. This uh, this truck has brand new uh, Goodyear Wranglers. These are off-road tread as you can see though. Sticky clay mud. They're still going to plug up and I mean these are 275, 70, 18s which is basically a 33 inch tire. So, decent rubber, but if we go have a look here, here's the telltale. Super Duty, you can see right there those couple of little marks, that was the mini truck. Super Duty, mini truck. I mean, guys, it's self-explanatory. Yeah, of course your Super Duty, your pickup's going to go through all this crud. But look what it's going to do to your yard. And I mean, I don't even have to, I don't know if you can see it on camera, I don't have to look too far ahead just to see. Nice deep track. Super Duty Mini Truck. Well, we'll go a little further. I mean, this tells the tale right here, but might as well make a video out of this thing. Some good ruts coming up the hill there already. Well, here's some other fun facts. This truck I'm driving, uh, 2017 Ford F250. If we can get unstuck here, <laughs> this goopy mud plugs those tires up. Again, these are the AT tread. These aren't your highway slicks like they typically send on these trucks anyways again this truck uh, has a basically a six and a half or six and three quarter foot bed on it uh, the mini truck has a six and a half foot bed on it uh, these trucks are what about I think they're about 50 inches wide or so between the wheel wells mini truck same there's no wheel well intrusions into the box but they're about uh, 48 or uh, 50 inches wide so you basically if it fit in here it'll fit in the mini truck now of course payload's a, a factor but tools posts you name it those mini trucks are fantastic for that so just trudge along here honest that little slick road gave this thing a lot more trouble than it gave the mini truck so again just to reference this video I'm not trying to compare capabilities you know I'm gonna I know lots of people are gonna say well if you put real tires on your truck it would go a lot better this and that you know what these are good tires you stop by the, uh, your Ford dealership 90% of the trucks there have got highway slicks on them even with four-wheel drive packages so at least we opted for the off-road tires and yeah, I could put big 35 mud slingers on here, but that's not the point. That's why I have a mini truck, so I don't have to have 35 inch tires on my truck howling down the highway all the time. But I'll tell you, we are making a massive mess here. So I'm just going to stick to the road. Yeah, you can see coming back on our tracks, we... That's it. Didn't make it. Got to take another run at it. What a mess. Nope. Sorry folks, 7,000 pounds certainly plays against you. Oh man. 
man. Yep, we're just gonna go around before we cause too big of a disturbance here, but this is why we pull out the mini truck. There you go you be the judge but that's why we like to run a mini truck around uh, the farmyard 